I had more time than just the camp to study him. I was actually on the Fox Sports when all this started. Um, I studied his film. I, I studied a lot of his mannerisms. He tried to switch up a lot. But he's taken a lot of credit how the wrestling world is, the switch dance and the slips and the pops. But I got some tricks up my sleeve that I haven't used yet. You know, I don't like to say that I'm a magician, but I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm slick on my feet. I'm a renaissance man. So I'm going to paint a picture for him. You're not going to touch me. I've been working my ass off, and there's a lot of people looking for me to go out there in victory. He's been watching me like a hawk. The one thing is, is I'm focused on myself. And I have to reflect back on the money way with what he said. Because he wasn't worried about what he was going to do. He's like, I never watched my opponent's film. I never do that. Why? Because it's going to take me out of my game. Now, somebody as advanced, like myself and for Mayweather, that knows something like that, I got him scared. He's looking at my, that's why I post the things that I do. I want him to see what I want him to see. That's exactly the paint, the picture that I want him to see. Because I'm going to do completely opposite. And he's not going to be ready for it. In your mind, how, is this the biggest opportunity of your life? And, and is that... Is that something that you embrace and that you're that you want to be a part of? Like, do you want these big these big stages and more and more, you know, big spots for yourself? When time comes, right. straight up. When time comes and the stage is set, I'll be there. I mean, right now this is UFC 216. We're at the T-Mobile. We got you know the one thing that I'm not really impressed is I'm not getting any much more than this. I mean, Johnson versus Bork should be probably the main event because Johnson is about to break the record the record and I'm all about trying to break records myself what sounds better than nine ten I hold that record nobody's gonna beat that man not even fat Khabib for him this is important man but I see the way that like like I said if you're not the corporate color man it's different it's crazy man but you know even if you're not a big guy big guys sell tickets man I love my company I always have and I come from the mail room bottom all the way to the top man I mean when I signed up I didn't make it to the ultimate fighter the first time I didn't make it through the second time. The third time it was finally my weight class and I said, damn it, you gotta take me. But instead of taking me, I did everything that in my power. I took all my accolades, all my certificates, all my All-American, all my All-State papers, my football, wrestling, baseball, put them all together and I made something which was cool, which was a resume, like I was going for a job. Like I actually wanted this on a And when I finally went over there, I had a manager, Troy Brown, you know, one of Chuck Liddell's guys, he tells me, he's like, I'm gonna help you with the DVD, I'm gonna put it together. The coolest thing that anybody's ever done for me, man. I work my ass up and I've always been in the gym. I never had time, I didn't have money to pay for a computer. All I was doing was going month to month by rent, trying to get to what? My first manager, not even a manager, he tells me, you gotta get to five fights, then you get a state belt. You get to 10 fights, then you get a national belt. And then after that, you come and talk to me. I couldn't find him. So what did I do? I, talk, I trusted my coach, he's like, you gotta go on the show. I went on the show, he's like, you never tried it? Never saw it? I said, no. He's like, you're gonna be all right, kid. <laughs>